in the struggle of a man and a woman or the family or the particular group so if you see the stories after the second world war you will see hundred and thousands of stories are about the individuals about the families about the groups and about the religion about the villages who have got their own problems own difficulties their own critical situations and it's about a death and life and it's about a family relationship about a destruction it's about the relations between two countries it's about the relation with the world so if the life is going smooth it's a very beautiful life and all of a sudden something happens globally or something happens individually or if something happens with a disaster that is either created by the nature or created by the human man, human being so try to understand that in this universe there are hundreds and thousands of the stories or it's the stories of the struggle which has some sort of a unique experience because ultimately even though situation is common but the experience is unique it means your story becomes a unique phenomena for the audience so in the cinema when you are trying to find out the conflict so you need to understand that it's a key factor in your whole story it's a center of the story if you remove the key factors from the story it means the story has nothing to do with audience or it will not not have any kind of a meaning and that's why you will have to create a story which will have a strong conflict and now it's depend that how your protagonist will struggle to resolve that conflict and in between how you can create a sugar coated situations and the events and the sequences which will attract your audience and that's why it's a very important to understand what is a key situation of your story so in the film titanic the hero and hero hero and heroism uh, heroine they have a struggle so the hero struggles in the third deck and heroine struggles at the first deck or in the luxury class so central conflict is not whether they will meet each other so central conflict is what happens when the boat is sinking with iceberg so james cameron has developed the entire movie in such a way that at the backdrop of the real story or the historical event or the periodical event in the history he has created numbers of situations and uh, events and complex personalities to portray the richness of the huge titanic boat but you try to understand that if you want to show in the story that what is the value of love and hatred so it's one of the good example in uh, the story of titanic that how hero is 
uh, get attracted towards the heroine or how heroine gets attracted with the activity of the hero so heroism is what in this entire scenario or in the entire story what is the value of the heroism of the hero is that his sacrifice for the life of heroine so try to understand that emotional values in the critical and complex situation emotional values are very very important values and the, the stand of your protagonist is based on his critical decisions like in the story of a cinderella the prince selects the poor cinderella instead of uh, uh, her uh, uh, rich uh, mistress so try to understand that in the fairy story uh, fairy tales and in the realistic story or in the periodical story you will have to create a central conflict which will have high emotional drama emotional value why girl should uh, uh, select a particular boy uh, or why a boy should select a particular girl for the marriage so there should be critical situation and in that critical situation the heroism of hero or heroine should be visible to the audience so audience is more interesting that uh, what is the process of the heroism and so that if you know that you have a protagonist or you have a, a, a woman who struggles in the battlefield of ukraine and with her own decision she she, she, she saves her old mother as well as a small son who is around the age of 6 years or 7 years in spite having a critical <coughs> assistance from the military so situation is the most important element for any filmmaker on which how on the screen that filmmaker creates the illusion or the delusion on the screen which looks like a reality so story is there where is a problem and there is a process of the resolution of the problem so in this process if you try to understand what is the central conflict in your story and how your protagonist struggle to resolve that conflict so there is a structural value of the story so if you see the structure of any story you can find it into the traditional way of a three act structure if you divide your story into three sections so act 1 act 2 and act 3 so in short which is defined as a setup conflict and a resolution